Yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you guys my rant. I told you I was going to rant. I need to rant about this BLM garbage, this nonsense. Here's the thing. All right, let's talk about Patrice Colors. Patrice Colors, black woman, is selling black oppression to black people. Hey, white people want to kill you. You're going to die if you leave your house if you're black. But then she goes and buys a house in white America, in the most rural, richest part of white America. I'm tired of that. Just like Obama. Obama, all these Democrats, well, all these Democrats talking about climate change is an existential threat. But then the Obamas go buy a mansion on Martha's Vineyard. Why can you even build real estate on Miami Beach? If we're going to be underwater soon, why are banks giving out 30-year mortgages on the beach? I'm just saying, but back to race, okay? This, this notion that America is the most racist country on earth, why do people from all walks of life, people from all colors, want to come here to America? I'm loving this. Liz is trying to record this, okay? Oh, no. I'm, as I'm getting soaking wet, I'm not going to stop this rant, guys, okay? I'm not stopping this rant. I'm not doing it. Liz is laughing here, but I'm over here telling some straight up truth, okay? America twice elected a black president. So that same country that twice elected a black president now hates black people. They let a black man be the leader of the free world. There's 40 million black Americans in the United States of America and less than 30 are murdered every year by the police. And when you break that down, how many of them were armed? I'm just saying, I know people are so emotionally tied. They only care about what they feel. So they're gonna call me a coon, Uncle Tom, sell out everything else for me telling the truth. 40 million black people in America. But Trevor Noah's telling you that there's no such thing as a good cop. He said, we don't have bad apples. The tree is rotten. Really? So why aren't there hundreds of thousands of black people killing, getting killed every year by the cops? Maybe because the majority of black people don't even come in contact with the police and the ones that do, they follow orders. They don't resist arrest. They see their day in court. I'm not saying that justifies because I know people are emotionally tied. They're like, George Floyd was killed and that's all that matters. I don't care about the facts. I'm not watching the trial. People in the media say they're not watching the trial. That's because the facts are coming out and the facts contradict their stupid narrative that black people are being hunted down by cops every year. But if you, if you drill into the numbers, you look at some of these police brutality cases, you find out that a lot of black people either aren't breaking the law or if they're breaking the law, they are complying with police orders and then they see their day in court. But because the media has a narrative to uphold, they're gonna tell you that every single black person in America should fear for their life when they leave their house and that they're gonna die at the hands of police even if they're just on their way to Trader Joe's, you're just gonna die as you pick up that loaf of bread because some racist white cop wants to kill you today. Well, I'm here to tell you right now on Right Side Broadcasting Network, where we tell the truth, that is not true. The average person in this country doesn't care what color skin you are, they don't care who you worship, they don't care who you sleep with. All they care is that you leave them the hell alone so they can live their life. That's all it is, and that's all I gotta say. That's the end of my rant.